Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what to wear to the Kentucky Derby Oaks and Thurby. I'm so excited because I'm totally in my element here. I'm a Kentucky girl. I've been to the Derby multiple times. This event is so much fun in Kentucky and it's just exciting for me because there's a lot of people that come from out of town that aren't from Kentucky and they get to see how beautiful Kentucky is, how nice the people are here. And the Kentucky Derby is such a fun event all week long. Let's get started. So what should you wear to the Kentucky Derby? You gotta start with the head, the top. You should always have a hat or a fascinator. A lot of people are wearing fascinators now. I've never worn a fascinator to the Kentucky Derby. I think the next Derby that I go to, I'll probably wear a fascinator. I think they're super cute. I do still love the traditional hats though. I feel like the hats are gonna make a big comeback. Love them. They're just classy, gorgeous. The next thing, dress. When you go to the Derby, you wanna be classy and elegant, put together. I always say steer clear of browns and blacks or tans. Now white is another story that's bright, that's summery, that feels like spring. So I would say, yes, go for white. I've worn white to the Kentucky Derby. I'm gonna show you in a minute. We're in full on spring, getting ready for summer. So the more bright, the more colorful, the better. And I love floral prints for the Derby. I think it's so beautiful. So the first time I went to the Kentucky Derby was actually with my husband now. He was my boyfriend at the time. I wore this gorgeous white dress. It was just a fitted sheath dress. So beautiful. It was white um, and I absolutely loved it. I think white is so pretty for the Derby because you can add pops of colors. Now I did not add a pop of color. I wish I had. This was years ago probably almost 10, over 10 years ago. Um, I loved my hat at the time and I cannot find that hat. I have no clue what happened to it. I also wore a cute scarf wrapped around it because it was cold and rainy. That's the other thing with the Kentucky Derby. You never know if it's gonna be warm and sunny or if it's gonna be cold and rainy. I would say if you're coming from out of town, try to have two different dress options. One that has long sleeves and one with short sleeves. Or if you only have one dress and it's short sleeves, I would bring some type of shawl or some type of cover to put over you because there are lots of times that it is cold and rainy for the Kentucky Derby. The next time I went to the Derby was with my sister, my husband again, and then some of his work people. Here I'm wearing a royal blue dress. It has flowers that cascade down. I'm wearing a bold necklace with this dress. I'm wearing the tan hat. Looking back at this, I'm not a fan of the hat. I would not have worn a tan hat with this dress but that's okay. You can look back and poo poo some styles. Still love that dress. Gorgeous would wear it again. And the most recent Derby I went to, we were again hosting some of Michael's out of town work guests. And I had on this navy blue lace dress. I had this pretty mint green statement necklace and then just a very understated hat. When you have an understated color hat, I like it to be big with the wide brim, etc. Now for me, all of these hats, I got them from Burlington Coat Factory. I know that sounds crazy, but they had so many options at the time and the prices were unbelievable. I did go visit Burlington and they just didn't have as big of a selection as they normally do. So I know Steinmart, I don't know if you guys have Steinmarts where you live, they always carry gorgeous hats and fascinators for pretty good prices prices. Now, if you're wanting something to really stand out and pop and to be totally different, the Hat Girls in Louisville, Kentucky make the most amazing hats and fascinators that are custom. So if you get a piece from them, you will not have a hat or fascinator that anyone else is wearing. And if you go to them with enough time in advance, you can have them custom make a hat for you. So you can show them your dress and show them what you're thinking, give them pictures and they will make something for you. It's amazing. They are a little bit more expensive, but if you want something to really wow everyone, I would go to them. They're amazing, gorgeous hats. I went up there and visited for an event and absolutely loved their shop. They are the nicest ladies I've ever met. It's two ladies, they started it. I think they started making them just in their home and then they finally got a shop and they have people, I think all over the country, probably the world that they make hats for, especially for the Kentucky Derby. And for men's wear, 
They wear suits, a summer suit with a tie, sport coat, pants, and I think it's always fun if you're going with someone as a date to kind of match their tie. So maybe get them a tie that matches your dress or your hat. I'm gonna show you a few other options just out of my closet that I have of dresses that I would wear. So this is just a little rose floral dress. I love this. Again, another reason why I like flowers for the Kentucky Derby is because the winning horse for the Derby, when he wins, will get this it's almost like a carpet of red roses that hangs over the horse. It's gorgeous. So flowers is very big for the Derby. I love this dress. It's just a fitted dress. I love the color on it, the pop of color. A pink hat would be gorgeous with this. Bright statement pink earrings. This is an older lily dress. It's a sheath fitted dress. This would be beautiful for the Derby. Some long gold earrings, maybe a gold hat or gold fascinator would be beautiful with this. This is a dress from Vineyard Vines. Now every year Vineyard Vines comes out with a Kentucky Derby collection. This was one of their Kentucky Derbies. I don't know if they have them out this year on the website, but always hit that up, check it out. They make beautiful dresses for the Derby. This one is so pretty love it it's a little bit longer it's kind of a midi dress it's off the shoulder you could belt it to give your waist a little bit of a figure so pretty I would probably pair these with these earrings right here then maybe a bright green hat or I might do a little bit more of an understated hat or fascinator just because this dress is so bold but I love these earrings as well they're so pretty would be gorgeous with that dress I wouldn't wear a necklace with this one just because it has the asymmetrical neckline. And honestly, right now, I'm normally a big time wear statement necklaces, but lately I have just been wearing my um, initial necklace, which it has my husband's initials and my little one's initials. I never take it off. I wear it all the time. And then I also have this horseshoe lucky necklace that me and my girlfriends all have. I actually bought me and each of them one of these necklaces when we went to the races. If it was raining and dreary out, I would probably wear this dress. It is so pretty. It has the ruffle sleeves at the bottom and it just has some sleeves to give you a little bit more coverage if it was cold out and it has a beautiful lace bottom. I just, I love this dress. I think it would be so pretty. It's a little bit subdued, so I'd probably brighten it up with some type of bright fascinator or pop of stain earrings. This Lily Pulitzer dress is another beautiful dress that would be gorgeous for the Derby. It's very bright, very colorful. Again, it's a midi dress. It's got the spaghetti straps. Um, if I didn't have my necklaces that I normally wear, I would probably wear a statement necklace with this and then a statement pair of earrings. So pretty. I would pair this with a hot pink fascinator. Gorgeous, be so pretty together. This Kelly green dress, lace dress, it's fitted, it's a sheath dress, mid-length. This would be so pretty for the Derby as well. Really anything with bright colors that stand out, that scream spring or summer is perfect. I brought some earrings that I would wear with these. These are a dupe for the Lily Sadugi, but I think these orange earrings would look so pretty with this green dress. This is another dress that screams spring and summer to me in Kentucky Derby. I love the color of it and the fit of it is gorgeous as well. Again, pair some type of statement earrings with this, a beautiful hat, any type of hat or fascinator you wanna pair that looks good with your dress go for it. Everyone, people wear over the top hats. Some people wear understated hats. Doesn't matter as long as it's something that you love, go for it. This is just a simple dress that I've literally had for years. I would wear this it's a satin dress. I'm loving the satin trend right now. I think satin looks so pretty. It makes people's hair and skin look more shiny and dewy and pop. So if you have satin, I say wear it. It's so pretty. Love this little dress. This dress I actually wore to a wedding, but I would wear it to the Derby. I love the color. I'm into that mustard color. I've been into it for a very long time. I don't know if I'm ever going to stop wearing this color. I think it looks so pretty. Here is another Vineyard Vines Kentucky Derby inspired dress. This would be another great option to wear to the Derby. It's just so pretty and classy and you could add a green or a red hat, some cute heels, be perfect. 
For Oaks, those are the Philly horses that race, so it's the female horses, and a lot of people wear pink just because it's a feminine color, and that's just been the tradition. So you could wear, like I showed before, you could wear something like this. Or this lily pink dress would be very pretty as well. You don't have to wear pink, just a lot of people wear pink. So if you're going to Oaks, I would say pull out something that's pink, wear a hat or a fascinator because you would also wear one of those there. Derby is very similar to Derby. You can pretty much wear exactly what you would wear to Derby. Wear a hat, some type of headpiece, fascinator, very classy, bright colored dress or floral. Now, of course, you can wear whatever you want, but I would stay away from browns, blacks, tans, anything muted or reminds you of winter. I would wear bright pops of colors, big floral. Something else that you can wear, my husband got me these pearls years ago and that's just a classic piece. So you could always, if you're not wanting to wear statement earrings or a statement necklace, and they don't have to be real pearls, no one will know if you're wearing fake pearls, but put on a pair of pearls, some pearl earrings, pearl bracelet, that would look so pretty for the derby. Somehow I've lost most of my hats, so I don't have a lot of the hats that I've worn to the Kentucky Derby. These are very plain. If it were me now, I would probably wear very bright, bold hats or bold fascinator headpieces. This is another hat that I have. It's cute, it's very simple. It would go with literally any dress that I have. So this one is very cute as well. This is a very understated hat, but it's so pretty. I wore this with my navy blue lace dress. This one would be gorgeous, just a wide brim. It's that very classic Kentucky Derby look. It's not over the top. I love this hat. For shoes, you can pretty much wear anything you want. I would try to stay away from boots unless it's raining and it's absolutely freezing. A cute pair of pumps, sandal heels. If you are not someone that normally wears heels or doesn't like heels, I would definitely try to pack some flats or some flat sandals in there because you will be standing most of the time walking around. Now, if you are coming in from out of town, I would recommend trying to get a tour of one of the bourbon distilleries just because Kentucky is the bourbon capital of the world. So it's so much fun to go and try different bourbons and go to the different distilleries. They are all so different. So if you can do a few, it's amazing. Maker's Mark is my favorite. It's gorgeous there. It's just very neat, very different. And seeing how they came up with the idea for their bourbon and their marketing scheme is so amazing, so wonderful. There are also so many different events going on during the Kentucky Derby week. So if you come in early, just look up online. There'll be restaurants, hosting events, all kinds of different parties that you can look into going to. There's also a mini marathon, I believe the weekend before the Derby. Don't quote me on that. So if you're a runner, you need to look into that. That's so much fun. I did that one year. I have never ran that far in my life, but it was exhilarating. Very neat experience for me. So for the Derby, you just want to be elegant and classy. Find a dress or outfit that screams spring colors, summertime, just very bright, colorful, fun, and most importantly, be yourself. Find something that you like, that you'll be most comfortable in. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you love Kentucky as much as I do, and I want you all to win lots of money, so good luck at the races. Have so much fun in Kentucky at the Derby. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.